Alright, so I am about to change out my sink um, faucet with the old pulley thing and upgrade it to this one with the cool pop-up. Alright, so you're going to need a few things. One, you're going to need your kit. Um, you can find these pretty reasonable, especially now during holiday, President's Day. They're going wild. So, um, you also want to make sure that, like, see, this one has a little base at the bottom. That's what mine is already, like, cut for. So, I just went with the same thing. Yours might have spaces in between, and those are called widespread. You'll want to make sure you buy the right thing. You'll also need some vice grips or this adjustable wrench. Um, it opens up really wide and um, yeah, it's gonna come in handy. You'll need um, cleaning supplies. I got Windex, a towel, and then some paper towels. And you'll also need something to catch the water. <laughs> something to catch the water in. <laughs> I don't feel like going downstairs. This was readily available, so I'm gonna use this, okay? Don't judge me. All right, so in the box, you got the drain, the little click thing. And then you got the actual faucet, but it's screwed in, so you have to unscrew it. Just, um, you can throw away these little cap things, but you know, keep these because this is what you'll use to screw it into the sink. Alright, so the first and most important step is to make sure you turn the water off. Yours might be like the little um, silver knobs, just make sure you turn them off. These are um, fairly new, so you have to pop them up to, turn, to stop the water but you want to make sure you do it to both of them. All right, next I'll show you guys what we're looking at. This is the cold, or I'm sorry, you can't see my finger, but this is the cold water knob. And then the, this one over here is the hot water knob. And then this is the little pulley thing that you use to stop up the sink. First, we're going to start by um, unscrewing the little pulley thing right here. You can pull that out and then this just kind of slides right out. Like that. All right, next you wanna put down the towel or something and get something to catch the water because we're going to unplug the water lines, which is this white one here. And it's really easy, just unplug it to the left and water is going to come out. Even though the water is off, this is just what was left in the line. So I'm gonna sit that in there and then I'm gonna do the other one. Now we have to get these little, um, little things little shit off but they are really on there so now is when my um little vice grips will come in handy like i'm gonna put them up there and like turn it to the left at least so i can start to twist it down all right once you get that first turn you're like really easy to take off now we can take it up from here get that guy up out of there I don't know if that's like glue or whatever, but it's gotta go clean that with a little bit of Windex. Now we can put the new one in there. Make sure it's nice and flush. Some of them, this one came with the um with a sealer already attached right there, this little thing here. But some of them might have to put the sealer on first and then put this on there and just make sure that it's flush and that it's straight before you start screwing anything underneath all right now we're gonna put this back with the flat side up i'm just gonna twist it on there i put the other one but i did not um tighten it all the way because okay both of them are still kind of loose but i wanted to make sure that it was straight up top and then then you want to go like back and forth when you tighten them so that they um like is level or you know and just go so you can't go no more you might want to go ahead and like use your plier or your um vice grips to make sure it's good i'm not gonna do all that and you plug back up the water line make sure they're tight you can also use your own vice grips to tighten them more. All right, so now we got to install the drain, which means we have to remove the this P trap right here and take this um, bolt off. So I'll start by. I always get confused on which way to turn, but loosen up this one and this one. Uh oh, 
that's what that's what this is for. I was totally expecting that to happen. All right, whatever. Anyway, loosen that up. All right, so this is the pea trap, and it's very important. If your sink is slow to drain or is not draining properly, that's probably because this is clogged up. It's very easy to just unscrew from here and here. You can take it out and clean the inside of it, and um, yeah, just put it back. But anyway, we're taking this off. So we took that off. I'm gonna slide this down. It's just two pieces. It has like a little wax ring that I need to clean off, and that. And then I'm going to unscrew this, which was holding the little uh, pulley thing. And now I need to get this bolt off of here. And I'm going to use my um, vice grips to, to get it started. And then I'll just twist it the rest of the way. All right, the bottom is unscrewed. Take that out. I'm going to take these last three pieces of the drain off. We'll keep this top little washer, plastic washer thing on. And... Then we'll take the last three. I put the black one, uh oh, the clear one just fell off. Put the thing back on there. Um, and then the big one. Alright, put the P trap back on, tighten it at both ends. Alright, it's looking good. It's the moment of truth. Let's turn the water back on. Let it run for a minute to stop the drain. Get in there. Ain't got no leak. And that's how you do it.